Okay, so this is a bad agitator, and this is a good one. And so if you notice, when we spin this this way, the bottom agitator spins. Now I've taken the cap off of this one so we can look inside. And you can see those little moving parts in there are not grabbing the bottom agitator. So normally when we spin it this way, the bottom agitator should spin, like this one. And that's how we know these little agitator dogs in here are bad, and we'll replace those. Okay, on these particular ones, there's a little, uh, little uh, hole right here. You can just pop this off. Once you get that off, you can stick a 716 socket down to unscrew the main bolt that holds the agitator in place. And once you've taken that off, then you can pull the agitator right off normally. And so you want to grab it from the bottom ideally, but in this case, we grabbed it from the top, and it worked. Oh, okay, so once we get it here, we're going to turn it upside down, carefully, and took a look at the agitator dogs. So these are the agitator dogs, the ratcheting agitator dogs, and you can see they're sort of worn. Um, and so we're going to replace these and then put it back together. And this one here is particularly worn. It should have some little teeth on it like this one does. This one is badly worn, so we're going to replace the ones that are bad and put it back together. And it should be okay, so we've got the agitator all back together again. Now let's take a look. This one, as you remember, is the good agitator. This is the proper action of this type of agitator. Now we just rebuilt this one so we have the same action. Now it turns to the left and free. That way. So that's your commercial washing machine tip for today. If you need any help you can contact me 707-443-8347 I give phone advice for a donation, and so you can call me 9 to 5 Pacific Time.